looks like Aaron Rodgers is coming back to the Green Bay Packers for at least one more season. What is going on, y'all? Five Sports Talk back at it with another video talking, of course, some NFL here to talk about the Green Bay Packers. So if you're a fan of the NFL, make sure to hit that big red subscribe button down below. Make sure you are following me on all my social media platforms. And guys, hit the bell icon so you're notified every time I drop a new video. I have a lot to get to. We have a lot to talk about. Let's get into it. All right, so a lot to unpack here. All right, take a seat, get comfortable, grab a drink, do what you need to do. We have to talk. All right, so this Aaron Rodgers saga has been going on all off season long. All right, all off season long, and it looks like we finally may have a resolution. All right, today it was basically reported by Adam Schefter, Ian Rapport, all the top NFL reporters that Aaron Rodgers and the Packers are working on a deal to bring him back to the Green Bay Packers for at least one more season. All right, so I talked about what I believe would have happened or would happen with Aaron Rodgers and the Packers in a recent video when news of him potentially retiring came out, right? I said that there's a couple scenarios at play here, okay? If you watch that video, those scenarios where... Aaron Rodgers holds out through training camp and maybe misses a couple of games. Aaron Rodgers retires or and then unretires after this next season. Uh, or Aaron Rodgers basically has his quote-unquote last dance with the Packers and then moves on after this season. So it looks like he has picked option number three, and those were the two options I was leaning towards. I never believed Aaron Rodgers would actually retire. A guy who said he wants to play until he's 40s. I don't see it happening. I didn't see it happening. And the two scenarios where he holds out through training camp and potentially threatens to miss some games or he plays one more season in Green Bay and then moves on. So it looks like that is the scenario. So let me explain what exactly is happening here, okay? So what the Packers and Aaron Rodgers are essentially doing is reworking this contract in order to make Aaron happier, all right? They don't have to do this, but they are doing this because... It is Aaron Rodgers. He is arguably the greatest quarterback in franchise history. Obviously, it's Brett Favre is there as well. But they're doing this to appease Aaron Rodgers because if they don't, I believe in that scenario, Aaron Rodgers probably would hold out, probably would not report to training camp, and probably would try to miss some games. So here's what they're doing. They're voiding the 2023 year in Aaron Rodgers' deal. That is when the deal is expected to end his current contract. So that year... Is getting voided which means it doesn't count the Packers are going to review his situation at the end of this season all right and if he is happy they will be more than happy to give him another contract if he is not happy they will agree to trade him all right and they had already offered him a contract to make him the highest paid player in the NFL and he rejected that so I told you this wasn't about the money and this proves it Aaron Rodgers turned down a whole lot of money because he doesn't need it at this point. It's about respect. It's about ego. It's about pride. Aaron Rodgers, with this new stipulation, will get to decide his next team after this next season. All right? That is what these two parties are working towards, okay? And essentially what this all ends up with or leads to is Aaron Rodgers having his last dance with the Green Bay Packers. All right? Now, uh, last dance is obviously alluding to Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, and Phil Jackson with the Bulls having their last dance in 1998. But that was after they went, won five championships and then six that season. Aaron Rodgers has only won one. And then Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams having their last dance. You know, those the pictures that they posted on Instagram of Michael and Scottie. They haven't even won a championship together. So it's just funny. All right. I don't know when the first dance was, but apparently we're going to have the last dance. So that's essentially what's happening here, all right? So Aaron Rodgers is coming back for one more season, and more than likely, he is gone after that season. They are moving on to Jordan Love, okay? Aaron Rodgers gets to basically decide where he wants to go, whether or not that means that they're going to trade him where he wants to go, or that means that they're going to essentially make him an unrestricted free agent like Tom Brady was, and he can just pick wherever he wants to go. One of those two scenarios is happening. He is leaving Green Bay after this season. So my overall thoughts on this, folks, is this has to be the biggest blunder in Packers history, all right? Because you drafted Jordan Love, who if he turns out to be a average or bad quarterback, 
would be one of the worst draft picks of all time because he forced you to essentially alienate your best player and a Hall of Fame quarterback, arguably the most talented quarterback in NFL history, and push him out the door. That's what it made you do. And that is why the Jordan Love pick, when it was made, I told you it was awful, it was horrible, and that is what we are seeing. Jordan Love literally needs to be a future Hall of Famer for this pick to work. He can't just be average. He can't just be decent. He needs to be elite for this to be a good move because you essentially, essentially are pushing Aaron Rodgers out the door before he was done. Remember what happened with the Colts and Peyton Manning? Yeah, they drafted Andrew Luck, but Andrew Luck was the number one overall pick. And Peyton Manning ended up winning a Super Bowl after he left Indianapolis. All right? So you're pushing a future Hall of Fame quarterback, arguably the most talented ever, out the door because of one dumb mistake, which was trading up to draft quarterback Jordan Love when you didn't need to. All right? And then also the other thing, which is mind-boggling to me. I don't understand it. You could have just fired your GM who made that mistake, Brian Gutekinds, and Aaron Rodgers would have been happy. And Devontae Adams, who's also unhappy, would have been happy. But you refuse to do so. You refuse to do so, and you're picking your GM, average GM, what has Brian Gutekinds done in his career, over Aaron Rodgers, top three at his position, Devontae Adams, top three at his position. Makes absolutely no sense to me. So these were big blunders by the Green Bay Packers. I believe this whole situation, which has led up to, obviously, Aaron Rodgers uh, having his last dance with the Packers, is one of the biggest blunders in sports history. Because I firmly believe Aaron Rodgers has three, four, more good years left in him. And you're essentially going to get one more. That's it. And again, folks, this has nothing to do with me not being a Packers fan or being a Packers fan. I'm not a Packers fan. I'm just saying. This has nothing to do with me rooting against Green Bay or anything like that, right? Um, this has everything to do with me looking at the situation objectively from an unbiased perspective. This was a blunder of a mistake by the Packers. They can spin it any way they want to. Packers fans, you guys will agree with me on this. You literally are forcing and kicking a future Hall of Fame quarterback out the door. Even if you get him he uh, for one more season, which you, it looks like you are, think about the locker room. Think about everybody in the locker room knowing, yeah, this is Aaron Rodgers' last season here. Like, They're all going to look around and it's going to be this weird tension in the room. It's going to be this weird energy and it's just... It's just odd, folks. It's just odd. And so to me, this is this was a disaster ever since they made the Jordan Love pick. And the Jordan Love pick, if he does not turn out to be good, like I said, one of, if not the worst draft pick in NFL history based off of all of the events that it led to and all of the ramifications from the draft pick. All right, so it looks like we're getting Aaron Rodgers one more season in Green Bay. His last dance, all right, Again, like I said, I don't know when the first answer was. But his last dance in Green Bay next season. So overall, folks, I think um, for Packers fans, this was probably the best case scenario because, you know, the other scenario is him retiring or the Packers trading him. But at this point, uh, I don't know how you defend the Packers organization. I just don't know how you do it. They made a mistake. They messed up. So let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below if you agree or disagree. As always, thanks for watching.